Oh man, she's amazing. You're impressed? <laughs> yes. Do you want to be my friend? Of course. Now the question is, how does she feel about you? So, well, Grandma, what do you think of, or did you think, of uh, Ex Machina? Is that right? They never did pronounce it, so... They never did, yes. Could be Machina. I don't think it's yeah. Machina, but machina. I don't know. It's probably Machina, since, it, since it is Latin. The movie about the... Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, yes. I'll have to admit that I had no inkling as to where the plot was going. It was a surprise, in a way, to me at the end. Um, I was very interested in, in the story and the development of the week-long relationship between the human and the non-human. Um, it was very well done, I thought. Uh, what would you do as a human in a situation like this? You found yourself beginning to doubt your own humanity. Okay, you know, could I be you know, one of the creations? The more he found out about his host and, and test person, the more negative he came, became to the whole idea, except for the fact that he was very fond of Ava. That the was... robot android. Mm -hmm, the Whatever. robot. Right. The uh, artificial human. And she looked... Uh, movie makers made her look like an artificial human. You know, the, her face was normal, but the rest of her was not. So you didn't have any doubt that she wasn't really a human. Mm -hmm. Well, what did you think about the film now? I mean, the majority of I the thought... film was, was uh, there's almost no action in the film. It's all talking. That's, that's uh, You could almost have um, uh, transcribed the whole thing and made it into a play. They could have done the whole thing on stage. That is true. Uh, because the, 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 the whole film were, was basically two sort of uh, conversations between him and the, the, uh, the uh, overall scientist guy. Well, they even guy. broke it down like that. Ava yeah. session yeah. one, Ava session two. But again, just as important were this sort of the sessions that the, the, this uh, coder guy, the, 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 uh, the, the rich uh, scientist guy that created Ava brings in and the, the, between the two of them. I mean, because he's testing, just as the coder is testing Ava, the, the, uh, the uh, scientist guy is, is testing the coder. That's right. And so, and that's really the majority of the film. I mean, and there's... The setting was interesting, you know, the remote, wherever they were, um, there was the... You don't know. The film. Yeah. You don't know. Nor, nor is it important. You know, it was beautiful, mountainous, beautiful, you know, setting. But the real setting, as you, as you have pointed out, was just the scenes between the human and the non-human. And uh, it could have been anywhere. And the two guys. And the two guys. Again, it's, it's almost split half and half, the whole movie. It goes back and forth. He, again, he'll... He'll go and he'll uh, sort of test and uh, have a conversation with Ava, the robot, and then the scientist who created her will come back and sort of want to debrief the, the coder who's testing Ava, and will ask him questions, you know, how are you feeling about her, how is she doing, all that sort of stuff. Testing the test. And again, it's just on and on like that, the whole week that he's there is that you can he'll test her and then and the scientist will test him in a way. And again, 
what what is he uh, what are his real motivations uh, what is he really thinking about uh, Ava and uh, that's really the majority of the movie he was creepy to me and I was negative toward him from the beginning you know because he was the manipulator right you know he was uh, in charge of every little detail even the key cards to get right. in and out of your room and in and out of you know the rest of the establishment there well the thing you 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 never really knew almost through the whole movie was uh, what were his real intentions uh, you know I wasn't sure he was even gonna let the uh, young man go at the end, mm -hmm. end of the week depending on how things went what do you think the point was um, of his physical activities you know the, the drinking and the physical activities well what these in, in, a, in a you know in a, you can look at it a lot of different ways. In a way, it's almost like it's a prison. You know, the people in the prison, they do a lot of exercising in the exercise yard. They're lifting weights and all this sort of stuff, you know. And, and, I thought about that. Uh, this is something know, to do for him. He's there all by himself. For him to stay sane. What do you yeah. think of all the actors and everything? How did they do? I, I thought they were quite convincing. I was, we weren't supposed to be positive toward Nathan, I don't think. Well, mm -hmm. I wasn't. We were supposed to be cheering for the young man, you know, and I was. I was with him every step of the way as he became more aware of what was going on and building his relationship with with Ava. But again, just... She was interesting. I wasn't sure. But the actress, I thought, did a just a good job. You're not supposed to be sure about Ava. She's a, a developing uh, human. <laughs> are we supposed to be positive toward her? I think we are. Well, again, the, the, the screenplay, again, the, I think the director wrote the screenplay as well. Again, it's... We got all the actors uh, Canadian or some, you know, what I, no, I, I, don't I don't know who they were. They were Oscar Isaac. We've seen before the, the uh, scientist. Uh, the other ones I haven't seen before. They're, they're new to me. But as far as uh, did I like the movie? Yes, I thought it was very well done, and the story was fascinating. It kept my